be implemented. Uh, it is important that the, uh, the age of criminal responsibility, for example, is aligned with that in the penal code. Uh, and of course, that the children's age should be harmonized and aligned with all the other laws of the country. It is recommended that children in conflict with the law are uh, uh, consistently and without fail represented, legally represented at all sectors, uh, in all sectors and all stages at all times. And this legal representation should be free. We talked about accessibility, uh, uh, and that is part of accessibility. It is also recommended that all children that are processed through the system whether they are uh, child victims or, or child in conflict with the law, they must receive the necessary psychosocial support. Uh, it is recommended that uh, children's court rules be developed. Uh, when processing children through magistrate courts, uh, it is important that uh, you know, very specific timelines are set out in the law. That should be captured and clearly reflected in the Children's Act. And the Children's Act must clearly define and identify and list uh, the specialized services that are necessary and at the core of a child-friendly uh, justice uh, system. <clears throat> it goes without saying that a child-friendly justice system starts uh, at the apex. Governance uh, and the, uh, those are responsible for the coordination uh, of children's justice. Um, it is recommended, from the findings of this study, it is recommended that the National Children's Council be, uh, uh, be restructured, uh, hopefully into a parastatal organization that has an integrated professional uh, staff uh, who have uh, separate and independent budgetary allocations and organizational processes. It is recommended that children's act and all the processes and interventions for children in the system are costed. How much um, budgeted for children, uh, how much have we spent, how much do we need to spend in the future? 